My name is Dr. Eze Okowa. We are continuing our, lesson, our lectures on ECN 215, which are principles of finance. But today our topic in our study will be angel investors and venture capital uh, firm. As a way of a review of our last lesson, uh, last, last lecture, we talked about venture capital and the relationship between the venture and the capital and uh, capital venture firms and capital venture firms. In that, we studied about venture investor that can trade for equity. We were able to explain a lot on that, and today we are going into angel investors and venture capital firms. What we talk about angel investors are usually for, for small businesses or for up and coming businesses in the emerging industries. What is the venture capital provided by high is provided by high net worth individuals. That is those who call angel investors or venture capital firms. And we also have National Venture Capital Association that also is an organization composed of hundreds of venture capital firms that offer funding to innovate for innovative and entrepreneurial uh, ventures. Angel ventures are also typical, typically a, vi a diverse group of individuals who gained their wealth through a variety of sources. And majority are usually entrepreneurs themselves, executives who retired early from previous ventures that developed into successful empires. They have some of these funds that they want to invest in companies, in uh, firms, or in businesses that may not have where would are to assess funds from the banks. I would know that the bank's conditions to assess funds is quite, quite stringent because banks are not there as for Christmas. They do that to make sure that they safeguard the investment. So angel capital, angel investors, they come in to be as a go-between to, to save some of these uh, uh, little businesses. Then we also said, said that it's self-made investor providing venture capital share several key characteristics. A majority look to invest in companies. The majority of these investors, of these angel uh, investors, they look to invest in companies that are well managed, have fully developed plans, and also poised for substantial growth. They just don't put their money anywhere. They want they will study such uh, companies, such such businesses to know the history of his groups to know whether it is something to invest in. They are likely to offer funding to ventures in the same or similar industries or specialty with which they are familiar. Because uh, when this type of investment is made, one will be able to advise and give his key instructions on how some of these companies could be run in order to make profit. Because angel, angel investors are not just there to throw in money and go away. Angel investors can be involved in co-investing. That is, they can co-invest in, in any industry or in any firm where two or more angel investors join and fund a venture. That is, uh, two or three uh, angel investors may come together, pull funds, and try to encourage an investor, uh, a business. Venture capital process, any business looking for venture capital must submit to a business, uh, a business plan to venture capital firm or to an angel investor. A venture capital firm is when a business, uh, uh, an investor, I mean a, a business, wants to uh, get engaged in a, in, in a particular investment. It must have business plan, and that business plan must be submitted either to the, uh, to the angel investor or to the firm to assess. So interested investor or firm must then perform due diligence, check whether what is found in the business plan is real, which includes thorough investigation of the business model, product management, and operating history, among others. In as much as this is a young uh, firm, that there must be prospects that this business is going to go places before an investor, an angel investor, will be able to uh, put his money there. Investor completes due diligence and firm or the investor pledges investment in a change for equity in uh, the company. The firm or investor then take an active role in funding the company. 
because capital is typically provided in tranches or rounds. If uh, an investor, uh, if a business needs about 20 million, it is, it is also seen that the investor or the angel investor is not just going to dole out 20 million, he may decide to give it in tranches. And that is in rounds as he watches how the funds uh, are being used. The firm or investor ensures that the venture is meeting certain milestones before receiving another round of capital. The investor assists the company after a period of time, possibly four to six years. After the initial investment, it could be either, before he says it, it could be through a major acquisition or internal initial public offering. That time, that business, that firm must have stood on, on its own. And when it stands on its own, then that means that it can now go to the market to ask for initial public offer, that's IPO. Or it can be acquired by another, uh, uh, another uh, advancing business or firm, or it can be for a merger. Venture capital funds are invest investment funds that manage the money of investors who seek private equity, stakes in start up and small to medium sized businesses, enterprises with strong own potential. These investments are generally characterized as high risk, high rate net return opportunities. As these investments have these high risk and high, uh, high return opportunities. When a uh, venture want to invest, it must look at, as we said earlier, that the business plan must be presented and then being one that is also in business, we'll be able to look at the prospects of that business and know whether it is going to uh, 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 swallow the money or take over the money or it will be able to turn it around and make profits. Then in the past, we discovered that venture capital investments only uh, are only accessible to professional venture capitalists. Now investors have a greater ability to take part in venture capital investments. It is a type of equity financing that gives businesses the ability to raise funds. It is a private equity investment vehicle that seeks to invest in firms that have high risk and high return profiles based on company sizes. So initially it was the professionals and they were small in number, but today there are hundreds of them. You will find them in stock exchange, you will find them in so many places looking for, uh, they have the money, but they are looking for a viable company, a viable firm where they can invest in. Access and stage of product development. These are, uh, they must be able to understand that the company they want to invest must have access and their stage of production must also be known. So we look at venture capital funds that differ from mutual funds and hedge funds in that they focus on very specific type of, is of early stage investment. All firms that receive venture capital investment have high growth potential and are risky and have a long investment horizon. These are the uh, prospects that will be seen in the business plan. Venture capital funds take a more active role in their investment by providing guidance and holding board seats. In venture, sometimes the money that have been invested in some companies are now turned into equity and therefore when it turns into equity, they are expected to have a seat in the board. And they also have portfolio returns that these funds make small bets on wide variety of young startups, believing that all, at least one will achieve high growth and reward the fund with a comparatively large pay out at the end. This allows the fund to mitigate the risk that some investments avoid. We look at operation of a venture capital fund Venture capital fund investments are seed capital, early stage capital, or expansion stage financing. This depends on the majority of the business at the time of the investment. All venture capital uh, funds operate in much the same way. First, like all funds, we look at the, we say that it is a seed, seed capital, early stage capital, or expansion stage financing. When uh, investors go to the um, stock market, they are looking for funds either for seed capital or the, for expansion. So when they come across the angel investors or 
these venture capital, uh, capital investors, they will be able to look at their, their prospects and also make some uh, investments. First, like all funds, a venture capital fund raise money prior to making any investment. The, that's, that's the pool of funds. We look at in the country today, there are some interventions from outside the country and uh, some multinationals that are coming with their funds to assist some uh, sectors in the economy. It could be education, it could be health. The, this is part of venture capital funds. They pull the funds before they make the investment. Several prospectives are given to potential investors. When Nigeria goes out to ask for uh, assistance on health, on education, on sanitation, on environment, uh, they must be able to present the plan, their, their, their plan. That is what happens. Then he studies them and makes a choice before he commits money. After studying the proposal, the investors calls for the business owner's venture capital six where his investment turns to equity. The business must generate positive returns for his investors. After an investment made is made, the fund charges changes an annual management fee, charges an annual management fee of around two percent. What we are saying in this essence is that the, the business must generate positive returns for its investors. And venture capital trust this is individual investors gain access to venture capital. We see that investment is through the capital market. It seeks out potential venture capital investment in small unlisted firms. This generates higher than average risk adjusted returns for its investors and some are listed on the Nigerian stock exchange today. Venture capital trusts are exempted from tax. Most of countries, e.g. tax on dividend, capital gains offering lower taxation rates. Investors are bound by regulations to the percentage of funds to be invested. Regulations qualifies investment or holdings and the timelines for capital uh, injection. This investment is so attractive that it has to be regulated because, because of the tax waiver and other incentives. Many would like to not even go into their own businesses. They want to uh, look at some upcoming businesses and invest in those businesses. So that is, that, that is why regulation was needed. And we also have venture philanthropy, which is also, this applies to a capital uh, funding to invest in startup growth. This is risk-taking social ventures, not explicitly interested in profit, interested in making investment that promotes social good, focuses on building capital and scale. This is characterized by a high degree of investor oversight and engagement. Finances, plans for an organization's or business capacity building needs. Oftentimes, major donors sit on the boards of organizations they support, have intimate involvement in operational managerial aspect of the business, and provides non-financial support, such as offering executive advice, making the initiatives, initiatives using their own platform measuring performance and strategically these practices are drawn from successful venture capital initiatives. This kind of investment make forms uh, are in forms of private foundation owned or supported by wealthy individuals and uh, government or university grants, uh, philanthropic investment, charities or careful chosen multi-year grants. The high competition for which is said to encourage innovation. Several times we covered that, as I said earlier, that it, such a GP, that is a Global Public Partnership in Education, there, there are some multinational, multi countries that pull funds together to assist. In Nigeria today, there's part of them that are also assisted in the educational sector. So we'll talk about Bill and Melinda Gates and others. We'll talk about uh, other uh, in individuals that are interested in doing something for as a philanthropy, they are not doing, doing it for their monthly gain. These areas are the things that we see as far as the issue of venture capital. And the next time as we come, we are going to discuss on angel investors and venture, which we will discuss today, but the next time we are going to talk about financial markets, types of financial markets and definition of these financial markets. Thank you very much.